All right, today's session one workout is three rounds of two sets of 21's bicep curls. Followed by 25 diamond push-ups and a 200 meter farmer's walk. Now this workout should take you no longer than 25 minutes, so make sure you guys have a 25 minute cutoff time. So at the three, two, one, go, you'll start off by picking up your dumbbells and knocking out two rounds of the 21's bicep curls. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the flow for this workout. At the start of the clock, you're gonna pick up those dumbbells and knock out two rounds of the 21's. Now remember, the 21's bicep curls, what that looks like is you'll do seven reps going from the bottom, fully extended, you'll do a half curl up halfway and back down, seven reps of that. Once you complete those seven reps, you'll do seven more reps going from halfway up to the top of a curl and then back down halfway, that's seven reps there, and then seven full range reps, totaling 21 reps total and you'll do that twice before you move on to the 25 diamond push-ups. And then once you complete the 25 reps, which I do suggest that you guys break those up because those are very challenging, I would say maybe do sets of five or even less if you need to, and that's okay. That's why we give you guys a long, uh, a pretty long goal range time for this. And then the 200 meter farmer's carry, I would say break up at the halfway mark, at the 100 meter mark, or if you need to, every 50 meters and that should keep you moving and get a good flow for this workout. Some tips when it comes to the diamond push-ups, you don't have to bring your fingers to touch to make the shape of a diamond. Just turn your hands inward and create the shape of a diamond. That way, add some separation. So maybe something like this, and that way you allow your chest to fully come to touch the ground. That's plenty. That's what's gonna focus on hitting those triceps on that push-up. Remember, those do get very challenging. So if you have to drop to your knees at any point, that's totally fine as long as you're getting the full range needed, which is chest all the way to the ground and full lockout at the top. Just make sure that you guys um, are keeping your midline nice and tight, squeezing those glutes and get that full range of motion. So all the way down, all the way up. Now some tips on the farmer's walk. Try your best not to let your shoulders sag, so don't be in a little hunch position. Keep your chest up nice and tall, stack those shoulders and keep that midline nice and tight and just start marching away and chipping away at those reps. If at any point you're starting to feel a fatigue in those shoulders, then just set the dumbbells down because a lot of the times what's gonna happen is your grip is gonna give out a lot more than your shoulders will. So just make sure that you guys are taking those proper breaks when needed in those farmer's walks.